Um, all right, my name is Mike Healy. I'm the CEO of a company called New Columbia Solar. Um, I have uh, kind of done a lot of the entrepreneurial thing and, and, and started a few businesses. This is my um, third company. Um, and uh, I was also a founder um, of a company called Skyline Innovations, which is now called Nextility. Um, these companies are, are located actually right here in Washington, D.C. And um, Nextility... Um, and, 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 and partly what we're doing at uh, New Columbia Solar. New Columbia Solar is a, a developer and asset management company. Um, so we build, own, manage um, assets. Not, not too dissimilar from uh, Distributed Sun and, um, and what Jeff was talking about. And go figure, you know, I'm not a technology guy. I'm a finance guy as well. And two finance guys show up with ties here. So, um, <laughs> so, um, uh, so what, 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 what we're looking at is... Um, Primarily, how to uh, finance assets um, in an urban environment, um, and I, I've 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 financed uh, solar systems, both PV and thermal, and I'll get a little bit more uh, into the thermal side um, uh, here in DC, uh, but in California, Massachusetts, New York, up and down the East Coast, um, and then about two years ago, um, I started to really focus on on Washington D.C. I guess it was about three years ago because I have a three-year-old son now. And my wife said no more traveling, so uh, <laughs> so I really started to focus on uh, on Washington D.C. and um, uh, and and it's a really unique uh, opportunity here in the district. Um, and one of the really unique things about it is, um, you know, most of the uh, most of the energy consumption here in the district is is building use, um, and uh, of course, uh, transportation is a large part of that as well. And in the U.S., um, overall, as you probably know, transportation is somewhere between sixty and seven percent of energy consumption. Uh, whereas, you know, here in the district, it's much it's much equal between transportation and um, much more equal between transportation and um, building consumption. And so, fitting, you know, as Jeff was talking about. Um, uh, and I won't rehash. He, he said a lot of the things that I was going to say, so I won't rehash those things. Um, but, you know, we're, we're not really in the technology businesses uh, either. We're looking at what technologies are working and then how do we apply them uh, to the built environment. And, you know, PV and solar thermal are two technologies that we uh, are, are, you know, have used significantly um, to the tune of many megawatts over over the course of many years, uh, and now we're starting to look at things like like batteries. We, like Jeff, don't like to take the technology risk on it, um, and we have to um, make financiers and, and and people have lots of money who are willing to invest into these things comfortable. And the other thing that we need to do, which is always interesting, is uh, the third pillar to this is is on the law side, right? So we need to go and work with. Um, the city here in the district, I work very closely with uh, the D.C. Council and uh, the Public Service Commission, um, similar to, you know, uh, uh, New York and, and um, Massachusetts and, and California. Wherever we go in, we, we always have to have, you know, put a, si a significant investment into, um, uh, in, into the, the, the public policy side, uh, especially with um, solar thermal. And so here's the deal with solar thermal. Uh, back in 2009... Um, myself and, a, and another gentleman were trying to figure out um, how we could finance solar systems that weren't PV. Uh, we had a... Um, so predominantly solar water heating. Correct? Solar water heating, that's correct. Yeah, we had a... Uh, we, we were at another company and, and decided to start our own company. Um, and, um, you know, we got one of those letters that people get sometimes that said, hey, don't do this or we're going to sue you. So we said, okay, well, we won't do that. Uh, we went to a guy who's going to speak tomorrow, actually, Jigger Shaw, and said, hey, what should we do? We can't do this PV stuff. Um, and Jigger gave us this great idea to, to, to look at solar uh, water heating. Um, and the, the tricky thing about solar water heating is, is you know, uh, Jeff had mentioned you want to, you, you know, you want to look at hundreds of millions of dollars or, or billions of dollars if you can. Solar water heating system is going to cost you like, you know, 200K, you know, and nobody wants to talk to you about 200K. Um, so what you need to do, you know, and this is both true on the PV and the thermal side, we started to look at, um, well, you know, what we need to do is we need to make all these systems look homogeneous, right? So, um, we, we, we basically, you know, every single thing, you might be looking at two, you know, 200, 100 systems, um, but it looks like one big system from a financier's perspective. So aggregating systems. Well, we're aggregating systems, but it's much more than just that. We're, ag we're aggregating, uh, 
uh, equipment, so all the equipment's the same. We're ag aggregating contracts, so all the contracts are the same. You know, we're aggregating everything, so you might have one system on one building, but it looks the exact same as, you know, another system. I mean, obviously, you're going to have engineering differences, but, um, uh, you know, but you need to make this look like it's going to be, you know, one thing. And that's, that's a big, that's one of the trickiest things apart uh, of, of solar in general here in the U.S. I mean, that's why we have such a vibrant utility scale um, solar industry, but commercial uh, kind of the mid-market commercial lags because it's hard to make those systems cookie cutter. You can do Resi, like Solar City and Vivint and others have done on the Resi side, um, but the cookie cutter side is 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 difficult, and that's the same reason. That's the same uh, reason why solar thermal has been difficult to uh, finance, um, both Resi and 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 commercial. Um, so the goal is to try to make it look, uh, you know, like like it's multiple systems. Um, and it took us a long time to work with financiers that would become comfortable with things that don't generate uh, electricity, um, thermal. Um, Thermal power and thermal energy uh, is often a higher energy consumption in a building than uh, than electricity. So there's a huge amount of opportunity there. Um, but you go in to talk to most you know financiers, most people up on Wall Street, and they have no idea what you're talking about when you're talking about anything other than electricity. Um, and it's taken them a long time to get to electricity. So uh, no offense to anybody on Wall Street. There's a DC crowd. So uh, <laughs> so. Um, so to wrap up my speech, my speech is more like doing more with more because we're trying to create more options for building owners and and um, you know the built environment to uh, to to finance these things that weren't technically you know and financially and legally available um, just a few years ago. Now the interesting thing is that is that the technology has been available for a very long time, but the other pieces have not been uh, have not been available. So we've focused on you know again on the financial side. Um, and, and, and trying to make everything look uh, like it's one system, if you will, um, and then on the legal side in, in opening up barriers for that. So, um, well, not only that, you were the first to actually measure thermal, the output. That's true. On the tech, on, we did have to create some technology and software to enable uh, the measurement um, from, remote, from remote locations. So you know, there, there is that as well.